are there things that you have ever experienced shame around? Um, shame is like we where you how are you defining shame i feel like everyone shame defines is something, it in a different way yeah to me shame is something that you it's a it's a belief system you have around yourself a set of expectations that you aren't meeting mm-hmm. perhaps uh, as a human being or via what you put out into the world what other people think about you the way you look etc it's it's sort of it to me it's like this seed that is putting us from the outside that we grow and water ourselves until it mm. grows into a giant tree of shame inside of us that starts mm. to shift our decision process and creates a dialogue of us being not very kind and supportive to ourselves yeah. sometimes i would say like food was always like a shameful thing growing up my mom i really talked about this i think on my podcast but my mom was always on some sort of diet. She was always on Weight Watchers. She was always taking walks around the neighborhood with her best friend. Um, she t- like, she talked a lot about weight. Like my dad is from Barbados. Uh, that's where his people are from. And I always wanted to go. I was like, because I love swimming. I love being at the beach or whatever when I was long- younger. Now I do too. But uh, I was like, mommy, let's go to Barbados. And she's like, we'll go to Barbados when I'm thin enough to be in a bikini. And then she died. So we never went because she never got thin enough. Well, now she's thin enough, but that's Jesus. a different story. Yeah. Um, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Is it took oh, you just a half a second? God. <laughs> <laughs> My brain was in denial. Oh, I, I said love it. you. I love but, you. Uh, so I guess <laughs> I held in my body, I was like... Actually, I don't by have... the way, I do think that that's a great point about the fact that do not wait until yes. you are that perfect don't, bikini don't weight because till... you have no idea what's going to happen. Yes, you yeah. don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. I'm sure my mother would have loved to have had a beautiful vacation in Barbados at her size and then dying as opposed to not having this wonderful vacation, no. and, you know, take all those vacations that you can. Sorry, yes. go on. Oh no, no, it's fine. But, um, yeah. So I watched my mom and internalized everything she did. Yeah. So when I would restrict myself and then like, be like, it's a treat. It was like a shameful treat. Mm-hmm. Um, and then as I got older, I was like, well, why, why do you care so much about being, what everybody else looks like. You've never been like that with your hair. You've never been that like that with your clothes. You've worn the weirdest shit. Like I leave my house looking real wild. Like I'm wearing a weird Kathy shirt right now. Cause I love Kathy. Oh, but right. I, like, I just wear whatever I want. I was like, why do I, why do I care about my body looking a certain type of way? So it took a while, but I got to a place where I was like, honestly, I don't care what, like if somebody is upset about this big body having a great time, then like, I'm so sorry that you have nothing interesting in your life. Mm -hmm. Like I started like being like, you're just projecting what you think I should look like onto me as opposed to just being like, everybody's different. This person's different. Maybe I don't want to be fat, but like they are and that's their life and who cares? Mm -hmm. Uh, So yeah food used to be shameful. I used to like, be like, I guess this piece of cake is a treat. And it's like, now if I want cake, I'm just going to eat cake. Great. And I think that that's something that a lot of people are struggling with right now. You know, we're all locked inside Mm -hmm. with all of our feelings and with a lot of, uh, sort of, um, long lasting (laughs) foods, which are normally salty and sugary (laughs) carbs. Uh (laughs) And so I think a lot of people are having to confront that fear that they have and the way that these fucking social media apps are just doubling down on fasting apps and Mm -hmm. weight loss and, and all these like fat, loss injections and it's just becoming mad i've never seen so many adverts as i'm seeing now because they know that we're all at home online yes we're at home we're online and then eventually we're going to be able to leave our homes and people don't want to be like i gained the quarantine 15 or whatever but uh i think you can be it's okay to be fearful of your body changing because anything new is kind of scary Mm -hmm. but like that being said there's nothing wrong with like moving your body in a joyful way so like growing up i wish someone had said to me and this is like in my book a little bit but like i wish a doctor had said to me like you don't have baby fat you have actual fat 
And there's a way that you can lose that actual fat or you can keep the actual fat in a healthy way. Uh, yoga, do you want to learn about, like yoga is a beautiful thing that any, not anybody, uh, most people can do. And yoga is a beautiful way to keep your body mobile, keep your body limber. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's like pretty intense sometimes, but it's like, I feel joyful after it. And it's like running on a treadmill doesn't bring me joy. So I'm not going to force myself to do that. Um, and then like fat loss injections. Why? Why are you looking for like a quick way to get the body that you deem necessary? Because we're fucking panicked about it. Because as in people <laughs> are panicking us about it. Yeah. That's and why it's like, well, you can't go to the beach. So, you know, because normally this is like a beach body ready. You better be yes. beach body ready. Yes. And so now it's just like, you better be COVID ready. You better come out of COVID looking like Jessica Alba in the 90s. <laughs> and it's so <laughs> insane because it's like, not everybody's built to do that. No. Like, I encourage people to look at like fat athletes because it's a thing. Mm -hmm. <coughs> There's um this woman named Roz the Diva, I think is what she goes by. Mm -hmm. Hold on, sorry. She's um a black female plus size polar. And she's one of the strongest fucking people I've ever seen. Um, and people might go, oh, but she can't do every trick that a skinny girl can do. I'm like, no, but she pulls that fat ass up that pole. Can homegirl who's thinner do that? Can she mm -hmm. wear a 200 pound weight vest and climb up a pole? Probably not. She's strong. Um, also, like Olympic shot putters are like thick, sturdy women. Like, Look at Lizzo. I love that video yeah. that she put out this week. She was like, I work out because I am a performer and I am mm -hmm. keeping up my own personal athletic goals. I'm not trying to get the body type that you want me to have. With Lizzo, it blows my mind that anyone can look at like a 10 minute long video because you can go on YouTube. You don't have to see her live. You can go on YouTube, look at her, perform, not stop moving for 20 minutes and then go, she's unhealthy. And I'm like, I know. you do it. You yeah. try to do what she just did. I can't even have sex on top because I get a <laughs> cramp in the side. Do you ever get that? You know, like when you swim too soon after a uh -huh. uh huh. Yeah. Reverse cowgirl, three pumps, and then I'm out the game. I tap out. That's it. <laughs> I, uh, I could never do any of the things that Lizzo does. We, in mean, fact, we've, yeah, she's just like bolted upstairs and not been out of breath as I Mr. Burns my way up. No one knows what the hell they're talking about. Uh, do you receive a lot of, you know, I talked about this with Roxanne Gay on this podcast. So do you receive a lot of concern trolling yourself or because of being a comedian, do people not fuck with you in that way? Um, I think I just respond to people in a way that <laughs> it's not fun for them. I don't argue <laughs> with them. I'll just like repost it with a bunch of hearts. Um, and then people who are <laughs> yeah. I can go battle at my defense if, the, if that's what they need to do. But I just like kind of repost to be like, I hear you. I see you. Thank you. But also I don't mind if you yeah. feel the need to take the five minutes out of your day to hop on your phone, figure out my Twitter or my Instagram, get in the comments or tweet at me to go, you're fat. Guess what? I know. I know. You're not telling me anything. The only uh, comment that's ever gotten to me is this woman was like, you seem happy. I appreciate your happiness, but I wonder if you're really happy. And I was like, am I really happy? Like, that's the only type of comment that shakes me when someone's like, I'm worried about your soul. Like, I don't give a shit about being fat. Like, what are you going to yeah. tell me? I'm black and I have two eyes. These are things that I see and that I know. Like, it's, yeah, it doesn't bother me. 